wherever you're watching this, know that I appreciate you. It is 6.40 on a Monday morning. Today is July 30th. And it's a little dim outside. It's a little overcast, quite honestly. Um, it's usually brighter than this right now. But we've got some rain coming, so it's a little overcast right now. It's a little dimmer, a little darker than it normally is at this hour during this time of year. Got the window down. I did have both down, but I know that's a little bit harder for you to hear me. Both windows down because the breeze feels good. It feels good. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Uh, Maya was okay. Had to work this weekend. At least one day. Um, and here is my question. Not just to parents, but to anyone. Well, mainly to parents. Why do you allow your children to do whatever they want to do in public. I encountered, had the pleasure of being around, I think there were four, four children, might have been five, and they were so extremely unruly. I mean, extremely unruly. They were loud. They were, there were two separate families. One family had a child that would not stop crying. No, I take that back. It was one family because I remember seeing the grandfather holding the baby that wouldn't stop crying while the others ran around. Um, but the baby that, I mean, that baby cried for an, an entire hour. The baby cried for an entire hour. Um, and not just little cry, big, loud, I am so exhausted, but you all are still shopping cries for an hour. And then the other children ran around the store. The other children ran around the store. They took items and played on them took items and played with them. Like one child took the exercise board that looks like a, um, a balance beam and just played on it. Spun it around, walked on it, tried to balance on it. And this child couldn't have been more than four. Another child took, and this child couldn't have been more than two or three, took an office chair on wheels and rolled it around the front of the store because that chair was at the front of the store on a display. Um, and they took that chair and rolled it around the front of the store. And finally, the mother paid attention. Um, the other kids were just loud and laughing and running through the store. And, and all within the vicinity of the parents, of the adults, and there were at least four adults, at least four adults. Um, not including the grandfather that was holding the baby that would not stop crying. So there was at least one adult for each child. Those kids were extremely unruly. Why do you allow your children to do that? They disrupted the store so much that other customers were complaining about them. For the entire hour and a half that they were in the store other customers complained about them to the point oh well I mean one customer came one person came in to get an application and she was talking to one of our associates about the application and the associate could not hear what the person was asking because the children were so loud 
and we can't tell them the disruly, the unruly, disruptive children and their parents to leave the store. We can't tell them to do that. We can't ask them to leave the premises because it goes against company policy. The company believes that every person has a right to shop, which they do. Every person has a right to shop wherever they want. But I also believe that the customers and the store itself has a right to peace. And if your children are disruptive and unruly, and you make no attempt to control them, the store should have the right to ask you to leave their premises. That's just my opinion. I have children. I had them when they were small. Meaning, I, I know what children are like. It's not like I'm that far gone from what children are like at, at that age. I have grandchildren at that age. It's not like I don't know and don't understand what children are like. But I also had a better handle on my children as well. And the parents of my grandchildren have a better handle on the children. So, why do you allow your children to be unruly and disruptive? I don't want to hear kids will be kids. They need to play. They need to get the energy out. That's what a playground is for. That's what your backyard is for. That's what your home is for. When your children are in public, you should have a better handle on them. And even at home, you should have a better handle on them. Because if you're living in an apartment and you're over someone's head or near someone else, you have neighbors, you should have a better handle on your children. They should not only understand the verbal reprimand, but you should be able to look at them and, and reprimand them. I know when I was coming up, my mom would just look at me and I knew, get it together. Same with my children, same with my grandchildren. And I'm not gonna even say it's a cultural thing because it's not a cultural thing. It's not at all. It's just a matter of a parent having control versus the child having control. So that is part of, oh, it's one of my coworkers, that's part of what I had to deal with this weekend. But the other part is, I mean, I still had a pleasant weekend at work. It was overall, outside of that, it was an overall great weekend. Um, and yesterday, I kind of, I was really tired the weekend. I was really tired. But yesterday, I kind of just, I did a few things around the house, uh, like the laundry and cleaning up the kitchen. Um, but then I went back into some of my old writings, some of my old thoughts, some of my old um, posts, and it just really made me think about some things. Um, it really made me think about some things. Like, I found some things that I had written from the first year of my marriage and where I was mentally and emotionally. It was rough. Um, I found some things. Um, I found some things that I wrote prior to being married, and um, something just. I don't care. Wow. Um, so yeah, it was really good to see some things. That I have written and reminding it reminded me of the things that I need to do to um, get back on track. It reminded me of why I started writing in the first place. It reminded me of what I use writing for. So I'm very excited about that. I reached out to an educator this weekend, a friend of mine that's an educator, and uh, I'm going to have her assist me if she's able to build the curriculum for the customer service course. It was a productive weekend in that sense. It was a lazy weekend because I was tired. I was really tired. I'm getting used to having to work as hard as, I'm trying to get used to having to work as hard as I have or as hard as I am. So we shall see. But yeah, that was my weekend. I hope yours was enjoyable, um, as enjoyable as mine, if not more so. Um, and I'll talk with you later. Peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose and know that I appreciate you.